What's good? What it do? You already know what it is. It's Mr. You Know TV up in this mug mug. You heard me? Now, man. For all y'all Patriots fan, because you know I'm a Patriots fan, right? I'm a New England Patriots fan. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Now, I know y'all seen the game last night versus the Colts, right? What a crazy game, right? That shit was wild. But before I get into that, I'm going to get into this right here. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, man. You know what I mean? If you do, I appreciate you. You know what I mean? But if not, just hit that like button, man. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Let's talk about it. Man, I, I got spark of black on that. I got spoke by black on this one, man. Because I, I know I know for y'all Patriots, us Patriots fans, we was upset yesterday a little bit, right? We was upset. We like, come on, Patriots. Like, come on, man. How you gonna how you gonna let Taylor run all over us like that, man? Come on, man. Like, seriously? How y'all gonna let Taylor run all over us like that, man? How, man? Come on now. In the big excitement of the game, you know what I'm saying? Now, okay, before I get into that, we lost yesterday. Yes, it was upsetting. We lost. The Patriots lost, okay? We now nine and five, but hey. Still good stats, right? We now nine and five. Still good stats. Mac Jones, he was doing his thing, running it. You know what I mean? He had good passing plays. You know what I mean? He been throwing a little. He been having a little interceptions in. You know what I'm saying? But it's all right. We can work with that. But he started getting his mojo in at the fourth quarter, which fourth quarter is a little bit too late. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. Other than that, man. I got I got to admit man Tyler from the Colts man Taylor he 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 was he he was running in on us man he he was running in on us man he, he pretty good man he was running in on us so I give him that give him his credit on that right now I know y'all seen the squabble that went on right between the Patriots Kyle Duggar and the Colts Michael Pittman Jr. It's clear it, it's been, it's been, it was tension in the air the whole game, right? The two were going at it the whole time, and they finally just had enough and went in on each other. Now, of course, Pittman was the one that stepped up to Duggar, and Duggar handled business. Duggar handled business. Come on. Come on, you know how us Patriots do, man. You know how, how we do in New England. You know what I mean? Patriots fed all the way. Baby Red Sox, you heard me? Threes up. Yeah. Doug went in on him. Got in that ass. Got in that ass. He didn't get to finish off what he was going to finish off, but he was definitely getting in that ass. Doug stepped, I mean, Pittman stepped up to the wrong one. But yeah, man, it's crazy, man. And if y'all didn't see that, <laughs> I got a clip for y'all to check out. You know what I'm saying? Because it definitely was a good-ass game. It definitely was a good-ass game. But I'm going to let y'all check this out, man. You know what I'm saying? Patriots versus Colts. Or should I say, Duggar versus Pittman. Beef going on on the field. You're going to see him. He gets right in Duggar's face. He's smart to keep his hel helmet on. Oh, man. Well, that's why. If their ref saw Duggar throw the punch and rip his helmet off, he could be out. He might be out of the game, Kevin. And that's a huge loss. So just a physical run block. Both of these receivers on both teams are committed to run blocking. It's going to be interesting to see how they settle this one out. Well... I mean, at the very least, that's got to be, you think, a penalty on Duggar. But you're right. We'll see now how they deem it and what they saw. And New York can get involved with this decision, too. 
Hey, y'all see how he went at him, right? I don't right? mean like the entire city of New York. I mean like the replay building at the NFL. <laughs> they yeah, could go and look and they could see. make a determination if the player would be ejected. Why don't we just start talking about New York and bring on our rules expert, Mike Pereira. Mike, um, what do you think here? Watch this play. Is this enough for an ejection here? Yeah. Personal foul, number 23, defense. He has been disqualified from further play. Personal foul, number 11, offense. He has also been disqualified from further play. Wow. Mike, so sorry about that. Fruits here at the wrong time. Tell me about what you just heard. Yeah, well, that's New York being involved. If Once the flag gets thrown, now New York can look at the whole play, and if they see anything that they think should be an ejection, even though the officials didn't originally rule that, then they can get involved and call for the election uh, ejection. I will tell you that this game, as you said, has gotten chippy. So I'm sure that enters into the decision here to take the strong action to try to get control. And that probably led to part of the decision of going with an ejection on each team. Interesting. Yeah, because I'm sure Colts fans are saying, wait a second. It was, uh, you know, Pittman's helmet who got ripped off, but they decide to throw both players. I see Darius Leonard is kind of arguing that point. There's been a lot of talking, and again, I don't know what started it, but the last couple of series you pointed out, you know, Patriots players have come near the Colts bench, Pittman showing anger, as Pam told us, and then that was just... Well, Pittman's got to go. He's kind of hanging on the field now, but you saw Duggar. Now, y'all seen that, right? Y'all seen that, right? Of course, Pittman is the one that you know what I mean? Started it. He could have left it alone and not did anything. But Pittman ran up, got in his face, made sure his helmet was tucked all right. Duggar was like, uh-uh. I ain't hearing that. Whap to the face, took that helmet off. It was trying to go in on Pittman. Come on, man. Come on, man. New England don't play. New England don't play. Of course, they got ejected from the game. We lost, we lost a good play out the game for that game, so we didn't know if the outcome would have been the same if Duggar was still in, but at the end of the day, we still lost, you know what I mean? It's whatever. We still in there. We still got good stats, you know what I'm saying? 9-5, you know what I mean? We still in there. So, come on, Patriots. Next game. Definitely get this win on, man. Take all y'all ink out on that next game, man. You know what I'm saying? Get that win in. Mac Jones, man, you did your thing, man. Jonah, as you know, he always does his thing on defense. You know what I mean? Come on, man. It's the Patriots, baby. New England, son. Y'all know what it is. But it's about that time for me to slide on up out of here. So if you got any feedback on this video on what happened, if you're a Patriots fan, you know what I mean? Leave all that in the comment section, man. Let me know y'all thoughts on it, man. You heard? But make sure to like, share, and you already know. Subscribe if you want to. But I salute you if you do. You know what I mean? And hit that bell so you get them notifications on whenever I put something out. You heard me? It's Mr. You. No TV out. Why they trying to knock me off my fucking grind? Fucking grind. Why these bitches always hating all the time? All the time. Uh -huh. Why they lame niggas trying to stop the shine? Shit, shine. Cause Man. I be on my shit. Shit. These niggas hating.